How do I increase my email open rates? It's one of the most common questions I get from businesses and nonprofits. Now, the first step is you actually have to send an automated email. Do you even have that in place? If you don't have that in place, go back to one of my other videos and learn how to set up automated emails. Now, over the last eight years, I've worked with over 6,000 businesses and nonprofits helping them with their automation. I'm Brad Smith, I'm your automation expert. If you're new to my channel, it'd be awesome if you commented new and I'll actually send you my seven high converting emails. And if you subscribe, it would mean the world to me. So how do you increase open rates? That's really the key to making sure you make sales and you get new customers from your emails. If you don't go to their inbox, what's the point in sending the email, right? So I average about an 80% open rate because you have to be so strategic. You have to make it about your customer. What most businesses and nonprofits fail at is always sending emails about themselves. They think if somebody signs up that they want to just see all the newsletters and they want to learn everything about them. When in reality, they're just looking for a quick step to take next. And that's what I want to teach you today. That very first email should encourage them to respond back to you. It needs to be a plain text style email. No images, no links. Why? Because Outlook, Google, Yahoo, if they're still using that, right? They look at the HTML code behind the email. The more content you add to your emails, especially images and links, it adds more HTML code. Now, that doesn't have to make sense to you, but you want to send it like a personal style email, like you'd send me a one-to-one -one email from your Gmail or your Outlook. That way you're going to avoid the promotion and spam folders and make sure you hit the inbox. The next point I want to help you with is making sure you ask for a response. So your very first email to somebody after they opt in from your website is asking them to reply to you. So it needs to be really short, it needs to be concise, and it needs to ask for a response. If they respond to you, you're going to stay in the inbox. The next tip I want to give you is you can provide the juice, the meat, the call to action, schedule with me, click here for our uh, e-commerce store. You can add that in the PS section below your name it's because you want the main email asking for a response, just making sure this is the best email for you, uh, just making sure you're interested in this. Are you interested in the coupon code? Um, something to get them to respond, and then you can add the call to action in the PS section below. All right, the next step I want to share with you is send a follow-up email the next day. So if you don't know how to set up automation to where if they do respond, this email won't get sent to them. But you really should learn or use a service like Fiverr or, of course, reach out to me to set up an email that if they don't respond or open that first email, send them a follow up email the next day. Hey, just making sure you got this, because if they don't open email one or reply to email one and they still don't reply or open to email two, you're most likely going to hurt. It's most likely going to hurt your email reputation and you're going to just go to their promotion and spam folders in the future. So it's probably best if they don't open those first two emails to just get rid of them, unsubscribe them right away. And the last tip, bonus tip, this is my favorite, add a pre-header text. So a pre-header is what actually shows before they open the email. So you have your subject line that they see, and then the pre-header is usually auto-filled with your email. But what I wanna suggest to you is add a pre-header asking them, is this the best email for you? This always gets an open and it always gets a response because they're like, yeah, I just opted in, this is the best email, send me more emails. So that's really the key there, asking that question. You almost are tricking them to open the email. Is this the best email? And then getting them to respond, adding your links in the, in the PS section, sending that follow-up email the next day. And then once you make it to their inbox and they reply, you are good to go. So follow these tips and make sure you comment new so I can send you my seven automated emails to get an 80% open rate. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great day.